Let's move on to the 22nd congressional race. Yeah, the incumbent here is Republican Pete Olson. He's won. He's got 52% of the vote. And we also have Sri Preston at 46% uh, Kulkarni. And it uh, looks like Pete Olson is the declared winner. Let's get to Robert Arnold. He's covering this for us in Richmond. Robert? Matter of fact, I'm standing here with Congressman Pete Olson, who is going to retain the seat that he's held since 2008. And thank you for taking the time to stop and talk with us. Earlier when you were addressing your supporters, when you accepted victory, though, you said it was a hollow victory. Explain that. Well, my opponent called me up very graciously and said, great race, congratulations, you beat me. I was stunned by that, amazed and proud he did that. And I said, no, you had a great race, too, but again, a hollow victory because so many of my good friends are going home. And that's space of how I'm going forward, but without my colleagues on my side of the aisle coming with me, that's a sad day. But again, I talked to my colleagues as well, my opponents as well, and just said, we agreed, let's come together and work on what we agree upon, and not be so divisive. We have some, maybe a breakfast or a lunch in December, and work out our differences and come together as a community. That's very important. On Capitol Hill, though, now that it appears that Democrats will control the House, how does that change the work? I mean, how do you build coalition when there's been a lot of divisiveness between the two parties for so long? Well, I was in I, my first term in Congress. The Democrats had control. It was very divisive. I'm hoping we live both of our lessons. Let's work together what we agree upon. Let's work together to make sure these tax cuts stay because the economy is booming. Let's have immigration policies that work. Let's have a strong defense. I hope we're working. Something with health care. I don't have the solution, but let's discuss ideas. I think we can do that. My hand is always open. I want to open. Work with you, but please work with us. Okay. Priorities for Fort Bend County, specifically District 22. Recovering from Hurricane Harvey. Harvey, Harvey, Harvey. Got a spending bill done to give us some money to do some prevention. Have more has to be done. Probably it's called the Third Reservoir, the Coastal Spine, the other, all they're called the Ike Dike. Those have partial funding. We have to have more funding to prevent damage to the future. That's the number one job for all of us in Fort Bend County, Harris County, Chambers County, Montgomery County, all of us in this region. Thank you for your time, Congressman. Thank I appreciate you, it appreciate again. It. Thank, thank you very much. And thank you all. Reporting live from Richmond, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.